Peter, it's been too long. It's been a while. How are you doing? Silver purchase contract you just announced an extension of. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure. Uh, The extension was due to the fact that the logistics of international shipping of precious metals is more complicated than the purchaser thought. The purchaser has always bought domestically and in his own region, and he understands those logistic issues. He didn't understand the logistics of shipping from Arizona. So we sent a sample run of 103 ounces just to make sure that we got the process right. And we delayed the performance of the contract till the end of August, just to make sure we're all doing it correctly. All right, well, we have a lot of moving parts here with Silver Bullet, and we have a lot of very interested shareholders. I spoke to an analyst yesterday, he's following you. He said he's waiting for some numbers. Can you tell us more about that? Sure, everyone, including me, we're waiting for the production numbers from the mill in Globe, Arizona. To get the production numbers from the mill, we need the tonnage numbers from the mine. And as we've reported many times, the field team is drifting, they've intercepted the vein, and they're drifting along the vein towards the higher mineralized area. There's no point wasting your mill on the low grade material. Save your save your powder for the higher grade material, which we anticipate hitting imminently. There was a lot of hype about silver about six months ago. Seems to cooled off quite a bit. Everything's cooled off right now. But where do you see the interest in silver evolving here this fall? Because we're very optimistic that silver is going to be a hot commodity. I agree with you. I was surprised. Silver hit $30 a couple of years ago and fell back. Now it's around 24 as of today. I, I really can't see it staying here, given what I read uh, on from the smart people on the internet, but also the people that I speak to one-on-one. Demand exceeds supply. There, while there's an excessive amount of paper silver, there's a limited amount of sil- of physical silver. And the price for that, in my opinion, can only go up. So for those of you out there who do love silver, Silver Bullet, again, is on many people's agendas. Can you tell us what we should be looking forward to besides these numbers everybody's waiting for in the next month or two? Those numbers are the thing that everyone should be looking for. That means we've hit the higher grade material, we've shipped it from the mine to the mill, we've put it through the mill, and we've made either concentrate or poured it into door A bars. Those are the numbers that matter. We're also wow. having a look. Sorry, we're also having a look at starting Idaho. Idaho's not that hard with the old Washington mine. We've you and I have talked about this before. Hire a contract miner, timber up the adit, go in, take a two thousand ton bulk sample, ship it to a new nearby mill, process it, pay the trucker, pay the mill, keep the delta, do it again, do it again, do it again. From our internal economics, it works extremely well. So we're looking to get that going sometime in the fall. Well, as always, Peter, thank you so much for an update on Silver Bullet. And for more information, please go to the following site. Thank you. Thank you.